Hi friends, I have now the pleasure of introducing to you Dr. Ashok Dudwal. He is ranked 15 in this AIMS exam, November 2018. Awesome performance. Thank you, sir. Thank how, you so much. How are you feeling today? Sir, I am feeling very good. I am thankful to my family, my friends, my seniors who guided me throughout all these five years during my preparations and DEMS for giving me such good notes for the last time revision. Is this, you know, a feeling of uh, pleasure and uh, the relief now, finally, that you are on the other side? Not relief. We can't say that till, because... Till the time you get the seat uh, of your choice. Uh, seat of your choice. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, in an exam like games, it is always like, you know, with number of seats is so less. Hmm. So, you know, you can't really say till the time you go to the counseling and you offer your branch. Mm -hmm. So, now you joined us in the pre-foundation year and yes, you did that basic sciences with us and mm -hmm. then you followed up with the foundation. Yes, and then in the internship you did the test and discussion mm -hmm. course mm -hmm. so you know how how was the you know classes useful to you in the your know, fourth semester uh, did you enjoy the pathology learning at that time w what was what was your approach at that time sir i did pathology classes in the fourth semester and that time i used to take notes and that notes were very useful during my revision even during the prof exam that second professional exam that i had and then I revised the same notes during my PG preparation. So I added on things from Robbins in that notes and that was kind of handy thing in the last minute. So it was very good that you get a little summarized content for learning a little bit. And uh, then you followed up in the foundation year yes, and sir. you studied the clinical subjects with us. Mm -hmm. How was your experience? Sir, yeah, I did these final year subjects with you in my sixth semester. Yeah. So that were like I more of kind of I was listening in the class rather than noting in the class. So I think that was my drawback. So when I revised the same notes after yeah. during my internship, then I was feeling that what I have written, I was not <laughs> able to get that. So would you want to give a message to you know future aspirants to be careful when they are uh -huh. writing in the class? So, it's very important to listen carefully, but it's also important to write down each and everything which teacher is telling you in the class. So, along with being attentive, you have to also write down each and everything. It is very important to do that because I feel that, you know, sometimes you think that I, because it's a long battle, mm -hmm. you will be giving exam after two years, three years, then you might actually forget that what was I writing at that mm -hmm. time, if you don't write it properly. So, what was your strategy during the class that you were listening to the teachers interacting and making notes? But I was more of kind of learning in the class. Okay. As means, I thought that ki likhna to मतलब कहीं से भी मिल जाएगा notes तो तो मैं सुनता था बहुत अच्छे से सुनता था बैठ के तो and that was really helpful because आप घर पे जाके notes पढ़ोगे या room पे जाके library में जाके जहाँ भी जाके notes पढ़ोगे तो इतना आप retain नहीं कर पाओगे जितना आप class में सुनके आपको capture होगा जितना याद होगा आपको नहीं मुझे क्या लगता है कि जो क्लासरूम लर्निंग है उसका अपना एक रोल बहुत ही सिग्निफिकेंट रोल है कंपटीशन के अंदर दैट जो आप क्लास में जाके ही अब्जॉर्ब कर लोगे वो दैट इज मच मोर देन यू नो व्हाट यू कैन यू नो अब्जॉर्ब फ्रॉम अ बुक बाय रीडिंग बिकॉज टीचर इज एक्टिवली टीचिंग यू एंड मेकिंग यू अंडरस्टैंड इन सिंपल लैंग्वेज यू आर एबल टू रिटेन बेटर एंड एक बार जब आप क्लास कर ले तो ये देन इट्स वेरी ईजी टू गो थ्रू द स्टैंडर्ड टेक्सट बुक्स if you are reading Robbins or like Harrison for the first time without attending any class, then it's very really hard to read Robbins or Harrison. But if you have read your notes, you have done the class, then it's very easy to go through the textbooks. So by the end of the foundation course, you had like notes made mm -hmm. up in notebooks for you. Mm -hmm. And you knew that you could use them in internship later on. Yes, sir. And that is why when you reached internship, you decided that, okay, now I'll go for test and discussion. Mm -hmm. you know? So what was the, you know, were you happy with the format of test and discussion where you have a test followed by discussion? And I think that goes complementary to the, uh, the classroom that we do in foundation. Now in you can do the discussion part. Mm -hmm. The TND was like kind of additional to the classroom. There was not much more of repetition. Means like you have basic knowledge in your notes, which was taught during my foundation. And in TND, we, I was always getting extra. It was not like ये तो यार पढ़ा हुआ है अभी वापस फिर से क्यों पढ़ा रहे हैं ऐसा कुछ था नहीं। We we try to test your application. You know the advantage that we have is that we know once we have taught you in the foundation, we know how to ask you in that in the TND. Unlike you know what will happen is other people they they would not know what 
has been done in the foundation mm-hmm. so they might uh, try to cover something else uh, like so that thing we are able to do mm-hmm. and uh, second thing that i wanted to point out is that the updates play a important role in uh, exam like aims yes. new drug or any cancer staging like so there were questions on nipa nipa life yeah, cycle yeah. there was question on the nobel prize yeah. so uh, i was not on social media to mujhe pata nahi tha ki nobel prize kisko gaya hai to so, sachin was there on social media to so, usne exam ke ek din pehle mujhe dikhaya ki ye nobel prize par isko gaya to ek question i credit to him so i am sure you should be giving him a treat <laughs> Uh, but that that is like very very important to be updated also because mm-hmm. in a exam like aims or for that matter central exams like jipmar also that you you know that will happen in a week mm-hmm. you will see that there are questions which are focused on new things like especially mm-hmm. in, in jipmar they go even towards the monoclonal antibodies and all that uh, anything that comes new in genetics mm-hmm. is likely to be asked as a question also mm-hmm. so they they pay a small part in the exam updates uh, uh, about five questions are from updates yes, yes but you know when you are looking at a you know say something like radiology medicine mm-hmm. those five questions become very critical mm-hmm. <laughs> and like and so that was your mo- major style and then uh, what about dvt did you enjoy the discussion mm-hmm. that we did dvt was very nice i was like kind of again my style i was just listening <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> focusing on the listening and learning the things there mm-hmm. there only so i think you know what i have learned and i want to you know share it with the listeners also that if you are intentfully listening in the class mm-hmm. your half the battle is already done do you agree yes sir okay totally. and do you agree that you know many people who you know uh, try to look at only a notebook that written by somebody else they are doing a error because they don't uh, get the live teacher discussion that they should be using it's not useful to read the notes without attending the class i think and second thing that i have noticed is you know correct me because you are from a younger generation you will be able to tell me here that so i have seen that many people when we give them a video mm. they keep on asking me that oh, sir can you give me a fast forward option and they they get so impatient so i feel that it is better that you know so you come to a classroom with a teacher dictating the pace of the class and you are you know under you know a teacher supervision that he tells you that okay this is the speed where you should be studying mm-hmm. versus you know when you are, are given a video and people tend to just forward 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 and they don't really listen to it no. at all and they are already judgmental that this is important this is not important so they skip the important things so while we are watching video in our room or <laughs> wherever we are studying in our home so then it's like ki utna patience hota nahi hai ki bahut jaldi jaldi karna hai jaldi karna hai but that's not a useful strategy i yes. think and you know what i'm now telling is has been found over the you know lot of educational research and lot of people even in places like america singapore where they have a lot of technology mm-hmm. still today you know the role of coming to a classroom with a teacher still remains intact so it's very important that you know i would want all future aspirants to keep this in mind that please utilize the time that you spend in the class fully the classes are the most important part i think of my preparation uh, whatever i learned i used to memorize all the things in the class like tnd was like revision for me why were you like ans- were you the kind of student who was answering in the class also when the teachers were asking no 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 i was not silent asking. but I was just in <laughs> listening listening <laughs> silently <Yes. listening. laughs> so uh, w- w- were you enjoying like silently would you answer in your mind that okay you know this is the answer am i wrong mm-hmm. right so were you always correcting yourself if you are listening very carefully then obviously you will answer yes if you are li- seriously listening the teacher then you have to answer because someone is asking from you if you are not speaking from your mouth then inside yourself you have to answer <laughs> yeah and you know uh, did you utilize the mop up videos that we shared with you on the emedicos app sir i watched mop up of the histology that was from dr pardeep pawar and mop up of mop up on contraceptives from dipti ma'am and there was mop up on tumor genetics from diksha sikri ma'am that also that also i so so that was useful like kind of tumor genetics is a very complicated topic to understand by reading by from robins or like that so if you watch a video then it's really helpful so you were able to you know utilize that extra uh, material that we mm-hmm. offer now i also want to you know uh, find out from you your strategy during the exam how many questions did you attempt in the exam sir i did 196 questions so like मेरे सीनियर्स ने मुझे बोला था कि इफ यू आर अटेम्प्टिंग बिलो 190 नाइनटीन एम्स तो कोई चांस है नहीं बेसिकली देर आर ट्वेंटी सीट्स एंड इफ यू आर अटेम्प्टिंग बिलो 190 तो फिर कोई चांस होगा नहीं 
तो इफ़ यू आर कमिंग एट टू थाउजेंड और फोर्टी तो कोई ज़्यादा डिफरेंस होता नहीं है सो यू हैव टू अटेंड अबाउ वन नाइन्टी आई थिंक आई थिंक दैट्स अ गुड स्ट्रैटेजी टू हैव यू नो लाइक इफ आई पुट इट इन वन वर्ड इट इज टू बी अग्रेसिव इफ यू वॉन्ट अ बिग रिजल्ट इन अ बिग प्लेस लाइक एम्स वी आर द नंबर ऑफ सीट्स आर लेस इट इज प्रेस्टीजियस एवरीबडी वॉन्ट्स टू बी देर यू हैव टू अटेम्प्ट ऑन अ हायर साइड एंड आई थिंक द मेन अटेम्प्ट ऑफ दिस एग्जाम वॉज वन नाइन्टी फाइव फॉर इन दी टॉप फिफ्टी कैटेगरी इफ आई आस्ट ऑल स्टूडेंट्स आर इन टॉप फिफ्टी दे हैव ऑल डन मोर देन वन नाइन्टी फाइव मेनी ऑफ दम हैव एक्चुअली डन टू हंड्रेड वन नाइन्टी एट ऑल्सो एंड यू नो यू लेफ्ट फोर क्वेश्चन इन दी exam which were those four questions that you left like uh, you had no idea about them sir i remember there was one i think one chemo port chemo mm. port was shown in the image that yeah. i left and so you you were like not really sure what it is so you thought i can't even rule out so uh, you left so it. i was not even I, i ruled out one option but among three options i was not able to choose mm. and i don't remember other questions yeah and you know there were video questions this time mm-hmm. and so how did you tackle them or were you surprised or did that affect your exam composure in mind or like so i think it's just a way of presenting the image in a different way yeah so video was no different except for the question in which silver that silver score was asked for calculating hmm. that question can't be given with the image hmm. uh, and other questions like there was a video on strongy lordis that was even if they are giving image then it's fine so yes. video is i think there is uh, probably no even if they give history also it is fine uh, <laughs> if they are giving history then yeah, yeah. so and uh, how many questions do you feel were visual and what kind of visuals were there predominantly sir so, i think there were about 40 30 40 visuals so like it's neuro and art se aims mein trend hai ki har ek saal do teen visual aayenge so is baar bhi sir do teen visual the neuro and art se aur microbiology se generally visuals aate hain to cryptosporidium pe visual tha strongy lordis pe visual tha so mujhe lagta hai ki kahin na kahin aims ke kuch topics hain wo unhi ko follow karte hain can you you know elaborate on the topics for the like listeners cryptosporidium they are asking from almost every time uh, strongy lordis they are always almost asking almost every time yes. like neuro and art to to slices of the brain in whichever sections like coronal sagittal or whatever and like embryology was their favorite but is bar embryo aaya nahi utna nahi tha ha embryo tha nahi and then like in pathology in this exam the stress was on im- immunology इम्यूनोलॉजी से बहुत ज्यादा क्वेश्चंस थे ये पैथोलॉजी में इस बार और तो सर मेडिसिन आई थिंक इमरजेंसी इन्फेक्शंस इमरजेंसी एंड इन्फेक्शन आर इम्पोर्टेंट मीन्स मेडिसिन में आई डोंट थिंक कि आपको बहुत ज्यादा घुस के कोर मेडिसिन पढ़ना है दैट इज नॉट यूजफुल फॉर एम्स दैट इज अगेन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट इज पॉइंटेड आउट आई वॉन्ट टू एड अ लाइन हेयर दैट इफ यू टॉक टू योर सीनियर्स हु आर फाइव ईयर सीनियर टू यू दे विल से दैट यू नो फाइव ईयर सिक्स ईयर प्रोइंस दे से हेरसन इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बुक फॉर एम्स Mm-hmm. But if you look at last two three year pattern, I do not agree that you know you read two volumes and they are not really asking anything systemic out of it. Even if you are reading that, then the questions are so tricky. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that you have to choose among two options, and yeah. that will be a guess. You don't. You are not. Yeah. You are not hundred percent sure whether what you are marking. So I think you know. I also feel that you know starting early also has a role to play. To you know when you are getting through this exam, like you started early. Mm-hmm. Do you feel that that gave you that comfort, that uh, comfort zone, that buffer? That okay, I'm starting early. I have like I'm starting in foundation year. I have like two three years. to you know gradually make concepts and go about it. As compared to somebody who is doing it in one year. सर आई थिंक इट्स डिफिकल्ट यदि आप इंटर्नशिप से तैयारी सीधा स्टार्ट करते हो तो आपको लगता है कि मुझे बहुत कम वक्त में बहुत ज्यादा करना है देन यू विल बी फास्ट एंड यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू रिटर्न द थिंग्स विच यू हैव रेड सो यदि आप पहले से तैयारी शुरू करते हैं देन यू हैव टाइम आप बहुत स्लोली पढ़ सकते हैं यू कैन मेक योर ओन नोट्स यू कैन रिटर्न थिंग्स सो आई वॉन्ट टू मैंशन ए ऐप देर इज ए ऐप ऑन गूगल लाइक गूगल कीप तो सर जब मैं पढ़ता था मुझे कुछ भी लगता था कि यार ये तो मैं दो दिन बाद भूल जाऊंगा तो मैं उस चीज को नोट डाउन कर लेता था और उसका एक फोटो लेके रिमाइंडर सेट कर देता था तो सर वो दो दिन बाद रिमाइंडर मुझे 48 एट आर जैसे आपने क्लास में बताया कि आपका मेमोरी 48 एट आर बार थर्टी परसेंट रहते है सात दिन बाद 10 परसेंट रहते है तो उसी कंसेप्ट में मैंने काम किया कि मैंने फोर्टी एट आवर्स पे रिमाइंडर सेट किए तो जो चीज मैंने दो दिन पहले पढ़ी है वो चीज मुझे फोर्टी एट आवर्स बाद फिर से रिमाइंडर आ जाता था कि आपको क्या रिवाइज करना है एंड प्लस ऑटोमेटिक होने से वो एक आ गया आ, कि आपको ये याद नहीं रखना कि मैंने दो दिन पहले क्या हाँ, पढ़ा है वो हाँ, अपने आप आ जाएगा रिमाइंडर कि हाँ, ये ये चीजें हैं जो आप भूल रहे हो तो आपको रिवाइज करनी है 
So maybe that that you had a good strategy in revision that also helped to uh, get to I this was, rank. I was about ten thousand notes in that keep. Okay. That is like flash cards. MLE में वो लोग बोलते हैं कि यहाँ flash cards होते हैं. हमारे यहाँ PG में flash cards का कोई concept है नहीं. But that were like flash cards for me. And then you could you know go through them again and again uh-huh. and that helped. And you those were the things that you were not able to recall in the first go. So you had kept them in the keep so mm-hmm. that. these are volatile things that uh-huh, you can that i have to revise again and again yes. and plus you know i also want to point out that like as soon as he will say this he will get a lot of request by other students that please share your file with me <laughs> but you have to understand everyone has a different set of questions which are volatile for them and topics which are volatile for them so it is always best to create your own uh, you know things like once you've done the classes made notes and after that from the notes there are things that you are forgetting and you have to make your own thing and either you do it on a you know app based thing or on a one copy based thing it is up to you mm-hmm. but then that has to be your own that has to be your weaknesses your volatile things in one place that will give you the most high yield and many times people try that okay i'll take his notebook i will top and then you know somebody tops but you take his notebook but you don't top because the notebook has to speak to you you have to make sure that the notebook speaks to you it should speak in the same language as you do so it is very important to write your own self that is what my message uh, would be here i want to it ki aapko pata hona chahiye where you are weak at yes you should know your strength you should know your weakness means aapko kya yaad nahi rehta aapko kya bar bar revise karna hai did you is, did you do this analysis in the beginning of internship i was doing it whole the year all, <laughs> i was taking day. notes on keep <laughs> like i will forget this hmm. chalo isko keep pe dal dete hain and i also agree that you know even i would do the same thing today also every week i will write maybe in the notepad or somewhere these are the mm-hmm. things i want to do and if i for, so that i know a reminder that okay i'll forget mm-hmm. so it is very important otherwise sometimes we all know what we are lacking in but we keep forgetting it uh-huh. or or maybe sometimes that subject is so painful to us that you know on purpose we are suppressing it using our psychiatric defense mechanism mm-hmm. so it is not coming out <laughs> so it is important to have that reminder mm mm-hmm. so that reminder formula i like it i think many other students in future may use this formula that you can put in a reminder at the google keep and that will help you to look at the volatile things that are volatile for you again and again hmm. now you know i'll now ask you two questions one is that i want you to tell us that you know what do you think are your attributes that make you such a high achiever sir i think you have to work hard that's a necessity but सिर्फ हार्डवर्क से कुछ मतलब हार्डवर्क इज कंपलसरी डिफॉल्ट इट्स अ डिफॉल्ट डिफॉल्ट ये तो करना ही करना है करना ही है अलोंग विद हार्डवर्क यू हैव टू बी स्मार्ट लाइक आपको पता होना चाहिए आपका स्ट्रेंथ क्या है वीकनेस क्या है और देन इट्स आल्सो ए प्रेजेंस ऑफ माइंड आई थिंक इन एम्स आप तीन घंटे में वहाँ कैसा खेलते हैं कैसा क्वेश्चन को कैसे अप्रोच करते हैं दैट्स आल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्योंकि एम्स में 50 टू 60 क्वेश्चन ऐसे होंगे जहां हर कोई दो ऑप्शन में गेस कर रहे हैं तो आप वहां कितने एक्टिव हैं पेपर के ड्यूरिंग तो वो बहुत मैटर करते हैं एम्स के एग्जाम में एनी पर्टिकुलर टीचर्स दैट यू वॉन्ट टू मैं यू रिमेंबर नाउ फ्रॉम योर फाउंडेशन आई लव दिप्ति मैम नोट देट वर रियली ओसम मैंने लिखे नहीं थे ड्यूरिंग माई फाउंडेशन आई वॉज लाइक लिसनिंग टू मैम एंड सी वॉज टीचिंग वेरी नाइस देन आई बोट नोट्स एंड देन एडिट थिंग्स देयर एंड लाइक दैट बट द नोट्स आर रियली ओसम होप्स एनी नोट्स एंड डॉक्टर प्रदीप पवार टेंडी आई अटेंडेड मैं सर ने बहुत ही कंसेप्चुअल अच्छे तरीके से पढ़ाया लाइक इमेजेस के साथ पढ़ाया तो दैट वाज वेरी यूजफुल एंड यू नो आई वुड नाउ पुट यू इनटू अ हॉट सीट एंड आई लास्क यू टू से समथिंग मोटिवेटिंग टू फ्यूचर एस्पिरेंट्स मोटिवेटिंग सो आई वांट टू से लाइक जस्ट लिव योर ड्रीम एंजॉय व्हाट यू आर डूइंग इट्स नॉट लाइक कि आपको पूरे पांच साल सोचना है कि यार मुझे पीजी का सीट निकालना है निकालना है आप जो भी करो एंजॉय करो इफ यू आर वट एवर यू आर रीडिंग लाइक मीन्स डोंट रीड इट फॉर ओनली फॉर द सेक ऑफ पी जी लाइक एंजॉय लर्निंग आई वॉन्ट टू से सो इफ यू एंजॉय लर्निंग द वर्क वुड बिकम ईजियर इट वुड नॉट फील लाइक वर्क एंड यू विल एंजॉय द इंटायर प्रोसेस इज दिस मैसेज विद दिस आई अगेन टेक द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट डॉक्टर अशोक 
heartiest congratulations thank do you, convey thank my regards to your family members thank and your you, parents sir. i am sure they would be very proud of you thank you sir. heartiest congratulations thank you may i ask you which branch now are you contemplating <laughs> branch actually i was thinking of radio but it's difficult to i think radio it's not coming till my rank let's keep the fingers crossed <laughs> i wish you all the best <laughs> okay. i wish you all the best thank you sir